worry to worry to traders worry to traders so i think it was yesterday yeah it was yesterday right i actually went to sign up for my withdrawal at the bank fnp right because you know I, I used to withdraw using screen like my card and stuff like that but now i have to Skrill has to like wire the money into my account because they just disabled card withdrawals. I don't know why, but uh, I had to go and fill up the BOP form for the foreign exchange, blah, blah, you know, all those things, right? So when I got there, right, they actually asked me, right? The first question they actually asked me was, where did I actually get this money, <laughs> right? And I was like, I couldn't tell them that I'm actually a forex trader because, you know, in this country forex trading is actually not allowed so i had to be like yo i'm a youtuber blah 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 you know and all of those things and they actually laughed at me right so apparently forex trading in, in this country is not allowed because i think there was a th there was a group of guys who actually scammed the prime ministers or or the government you know this bitcoin thing scams and all those things and then you know the government was like you know what we don't want uh we don't have anything we don't want to do anything that that is related to forex trading and cryptocurrencies but mostly it was actually cryptocurrencies right so when you're actually a trader this side you cannot actually spend your money properly right because of these guys that actually scammed people and blah 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 and stuff like that so that is why i actually feel like you know uh, this industry that i'm actually in you know there's there's just a lot of cruelty in it. You know, I really wish that most of us could actually become transparent and stuff like that. I really wish that, you know, um, you as a trader could also like sort of like document your trading journey. And, you know, we'd actually get to see um, you starting from the bottom and stuff like that, just like I am doing. Because what that does is these young kids that actually get into this forex trading industry they would actually have that idea that oh, okay it actually took this forex trader seven years to actually make it it actually took this forex trader five years to make it it actually took trader spin six years to 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 make it or five years to make it and all of those things and they would get in with that mindset of of being patient right they wouldn't rush to be to be successful they wouldn't get scammed frequently and stuff like that so that is why i actually told you guys that you know i actually wanted to buy a car right but i ended up not buying a car because i had to actually get myself some assets first and the reason why i actually had to like buy myself some assets first was because of this thing right imagine when when the bank sees me with a car i mean when the government actually you know those people when they actually see you with the car a young kid driving a car they'd actually come to me and be like where did we get this money and i cannot say that i got it out of forex trading because it is actually disallowed in this country right but when they actually come to me after i've actually had this assets i'm going to be able to like tell them that yo i get my money from these assets and stuff like that so that is why i had to like you know take a pause and be like let me just sacrifice this whole year just slowly accumulating this assets slowly um building my portfolio of assets and stuff like that so that they wouldn't actually come to me and bash me and you know and ask me questions and stuff like that so you know it is it, it is super super very vital for the people that aren't forex traders yes for the people that are to be forex traders for them to actually get what is really really happening in this forex trading industry I feel like some traders want you to see what they want you to see right some traders out of nowhere bro you just see a trader bah, this and that is got that and this uh, you know i don't really blame them but you know i just feel like you know if this this uh, if this industry was actually transparent you know things would be different bro because now people think that they can actually get into this industry make quick back and you know be successful in the next month and, and stuff like that and you know when you look at things that is not really how things actually work right there's a lot of work that you put in in becoming consistently profitable and you know it is so funny because only 10 percent of forex traders in the world are actually consistently profitable but when you actually take a look at it it is like 90% of, 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 um, of traders, um, you know, like worldwide and stuff like that, they show themselves as being consistently profitable, right? So that is what they actually do. They actually portray themselves as being consistently profitable. They never really, they never really tell the truth on to whether 
I started this or I started that. You just see a person showing you MT4 or you just see a person holding a, a, a bunch of cash. Like it's, it's like we are all consistently profitable. A lot of traders don't want to admit that, yes, bro, I'm actually on my journey. I'm coming up, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on my strategy. I'm still, no. It is like all of them just want to be seen as they are making money and stuff like that. And they don't really see that at the end of the day, that is actually damaging them because people then expect them to have some assets. They don't expect them now to actually be repeating one in the same kicks. Now they expect them to actually have a car. Now they expect them to actually have a nice house and stuff like that. So being transparent, being transparent, being transparent actually um, brings peace, brings you peace as a forex trader. Because a lot of traders are actually living a life that is not theirs, bro. You feel me? They buy things that they cannot afford in the name of, like, they want to be treated with respect because they are actually forex traders. And the whole world now actually knows us as we have money. Blah, blah. They don't really think that this thing takes time, blah, 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 you know. Just be transparent, bro, in your own journey, right? Don't, don't, don't try to impress people that don't even care about you, right? For me, that is why I had to make sure that I, I, I actually document my trading journey. Why you guys actually see me starting from the bottom. So that all these other kids that are actually coming right up could actually know my story. That, yo, bro, we actually knew traders spin without a car. We actually knew traders spin without a, without a house. You know, he just built his way up. You know, that would, be inspiring. that would be actually inspiring to all these young kids. And that is actually what I want to do. I want to be transparent as much as possible. A lot of traders wouldn't even admit that they that they don't have a car and stuff like that you know but i was actually able to be like yo guys um i was supposed to get a car but you know i actually changed my mind because of this and this and that and that and that a lot of traders rather rent the uh, rather rent lamborghinis, lamborghinis and stuff like that just to make people see that they actually have money and i feel like that is how cruel this industry is bro and that is why a lot of people actually get scammed that is why a lot of people actually blow accounts because they do not have that patience in them right they think that you're going to get in a month next month they're going to be you know and stuff like that but you know if we are all transparent bro this industry would be a better place my guy right a lot of people wouldn't even admit that yo they're using public transport i mean bro i use public transport and stuff like that right I'm not ashamed to say it because I know that, you know, I've got my assets stacked up. I've got my assets stacked up. And, you know, next year, what am I going to get? I'm going to get my first car next year because this year, I actually dedicated this year to just gathering those assets, gathering those assets. And then next year, you know, just focusing on, you know, uh, taking my brother that's from South Africa, bringing him this side, um, getting myself a car, you know, taking my mom you know renting a bigger house so that i can also take my mom in my brother my my younger brother and my mom in you know stay together and stuff like that so you know this is just me trying to show you guys that um forex trading you don't just start from the top bro you start from the bottom right so you know just try to be transparent bro because at the end of the day you're not going to keep up with with the competition you're not going to keep up with the fake lifestyle you're not going to keep up with the expensive booze with, with the rented cars so at the end of the day you just need a peaceful trading journey bro so try to be consistent as much as possible yeah